if you're a TikTok shop creator and or an Amazon affiliate slash associate and you've been wondering if you should be doing anything special for quarter four of 2024 in this video i'm going to lay out my plan and some of the things that i am doing for quarter four of 2024 in order to make those holiday sales coming up we all know that the holiday season is when people end up spending a lot more money so i intend to have more videos out there for people to look at and possibly buy from. So these are shoppable videos that are both on TikTok shop and on the Amazon product page for the on-site commissions influencer program. So that's my plan number one is to just make more shoppable videos. So on TikTok shop, I'm making about three to five videos per day. And then for Amazon, I'm just making just more content. I, I don't have a set amount, which I probably should, but my goal is to just make more shoppable videos. The next thing that I am doing is I'm thinking about ways to group the items into themes or lists, shopping lists. I'm doing things like stocking stuffers, things that are small, things that are, you know, under a certain dollar amount that would be great for putting in stockings. I can go so many different ways with these things. It can be stocking stuffers for general. It can be stocking stuffers for kids, women, teenagers, men, just anything that I can think of and just grouping them together. So on the TikTok shop, I'm, I've already actually started it, it being October. I've already started making videos where I'm grouping things together. For example, I made one video where I talked about if somebody was into self-care, this would be a great gift box thing to do is give them a journal, a candle, one of those electric uh, USB lighting candlestick things, um, a sound machine, a, a set of pens to go with the journal. So I was packaging them all up together and, and I did one video. I could do the same thing on Amazon and then tag the multiple products in that video as well. On Amazon, there's also the ability to make collages and picture posts. So my goal is to not limit myself to just videos, to make also some static photo content as well. And the good thing about doing that is I can repurpose some of that stuff over on the other apps like Instagram, Facebook, and then have people shop from there as well. TikTok shop is really nice because you have the little shopping cart in the corner and people can shop right there. Facebook, Instagram, some of the other apps are not so easy to link the people over to buy the products. So what I ended up doing is I ended up making an outro video on my stuff that I post on Facebook and Instagram so that at the end of my video it plays like a little clip. It says find this on my scene on social list in my bio. So then I have the link in my bio and then if they go click that link they'll see my scene on socials list and then that's where all of the items that I'm talking about in my videos will show up on the one list. That kind of saved me a little bit of time from creating a bunch of different lists is I put them all in one list on my Amazon storefront. So after all of those theme things I am also keeping an eye on sales right now on October 8th and 9th is going to be prime big deals days and uh, as an Amazon influencer I also get well and TikTok shop uh, creator, I also get like advanced notice of things that are coming out. So campaigns and sales and stuff. So I just make sure that I'm reading my emails and making lists of the things that I want to promote. I'm also keeping a list of all of the hashtags that are used in these campaigns and in these sales to make sure that my video gets categorized right and it gets pushed out to the people that are seeking those kind of products. Another thing that works really, really well, especially on TikTok shop, is to make response videos to questions that people have or comments. So like example, if I was promoting something and somebody says, oh, I love that, I would take their comment of, oh, I love that and make another video and talk more about the product. It just feels more natural than starting a brand new video. And then also when people leave a nice comment like that, it's kind of like social proof that the product works well. So people are more likely to believe that the product is good when they see that other people are chiming in and saying, yeah, I have that too. And it's awesome. I do the same thing for when people have questions. So if they have a question about like, what size are you wearing? Or, oh, what other colors does it come in? Or, oh, does it do X, Y, Z? I can make a follow up video and talk about whatever the question was that the person had in the previous video. So it's just more, more videos about the same products. Next thing that I'm doing is I'm thinking about buying ahead. I'm, I'm looking through all of the gift guides that I'm getting, my advance notice from TikTok shop and from the Amazon. I'm looking at the products that I want and I think will sell well and I'm buying them now so that I can make a review video for them so that 
they can be shown to people around the holiday time. Some of them I am requesting samples so that I don't pay them out of pockets. I still am trying to not get as many samples as I was before. I would much rather pay for the item and get a tax break uh, for using it in my business. So that just talk to your tax advisor. I'm not giving any tax advice here. That's just what I'm doing personally. So I'm making sure that I have the product in hand early for the holiday season and making videos and making content, other content, not just videos, but you know, picture posts and collages and the idea list that I mentioned earlier and, and having them ready because it's October already, but people are going to start thinking about shopping. Some people have already started their Christmas shopping, but you've got to think about, you remember, we're going to have Black Friday, we're going to have Cyber Monday. So we want to have all of those videos already kind of circulating both on both platforms and getting traction and getting the views and then once those holidays hit hope the hope is that you you're already having a momentum of people viewing the products and seeing that it's doing well and I'm hoping that the platform will push out the products even more so I don't want to wait until Black Friday to post I don't want to wait until Cyber Monday to post I want to be having a few weeks head start of those products already circulating those videos and already getting the views. And then finally, the last thing that I'm doing is analyzing all of the previous products and the previous videos that I've done and think about if I can redo them, if I can make an update, if I can make a better video and, and doing that. So I'm going to look at my sales data. You know, I'm going on uh, the TikTok shop has a thing called streamer desktop where you can kind of analyze your content there. Amazon has its own like reporting scheduling thing. And then there's another product that I use called Calidata, which uses, which actually looks at TikTok data as well. And, and just kind of analyzing the products and analyzing how well the product is selling, how well my video did, see if I can improve on my video by watching other creators that have made similar videos about the product that I'm promoting and, you know, maybe inserting some of the stuff that they said. Like, there's, there's, like, products are just so rich and have so many different features that I sometimes forget about them. So I do tend to go and watch other creators and go, oh yeah, that's right, I forgot that it did that, and then make sure that that gets into my next video. So this is my first year doing uh, quarter four. So I think I've got a pretty good list here. Um, we're going to see how quarter four goes. I hope that is, is a period of explosive growth for me and for you. If you decide to try any of the, these tips, I would love to know in the comment which one you're most excited to use. And if you have any other suggestions, I would love to know those as well. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.